is time real or is it a is it just some man-made construct you know i don't know what do you think i mean you know kind of like what we were talking about before we started the the show is that you know kind of like the ancient times when they used you know the sun and you know some sort of you yeah. know triangle or something to to uh see like whenever the sun moved what time of the day was you know why why did humans want to create the idea of time in the first place the function of time is it's a measurement it's a measurement technically i guess like you were saying with the sundial it originated with the measurement of the sun which if you break that down philosophically it, the sun is a light source coming from the sky that's making these casting these black things we call shadows in a certain pattern every single day what we call days at i guess well the thing is it's not exactly perfectly equal but the sundial that is based on makes it appear as if it were equal right each day because the shadow moves in a consistent pattern so in that sense it measures a shadow moving on an object made of stone so when you yeah when you break it down to the most abstract or concrete concepts i guess then it's like okay that's kind of weird but then of course now me and you can say we use time to measure um i guess measure change like aristotle i think said like time is a measurement of change why does why does time fly faster sometimes when we're having fun and then right. slower when we're you know not or doing some sort of work that we don't want to do that's one of the things i think einstein was thinking about the, the yeah. idea of relativity that sometimes you know for one person time is passing relatively but for you know very faster for others like very slowly how does time work then you know is it, is it just a concept in your head you know how did people figure out a year had 365 days yeah exactly it comes like what you say all comes from the sky the stars the sun by the celestial by the heavens Isn't <laughs> yeah. that crazy like if you yeah. think about it if you believe in god it's like a gift from a gift from god in some way i guess you hmm. could say if you're a physicist yeah. you're like it's a gift from the stars from because the sun is a star is it all just in my mind because if you really break it down like we did earlier it's just a shadow it's just shadows moving in certain patterns each what we call days and i ought to i'm like yeah like what you're saying like how the hell did we figure out there's 365 days in a year we create did we create that you know but then there's seasons there's winter there's summer there's spring and that's a consistent pattern and yeah, the year is a rough that, measurement oh, of that December, this is when but you know how people say oh well December or the the cold came in late this year or something or or it came too early yeah. you know there's fluctuations and well we depend on time we like you said we depend on time to be on time to things we don't want to be late we don't want to be you know we use it mm -hmm. gravitational field curves space and time so in some sense you know gravity the stronger the gravity then it can slow down time i think we have talked about this before right where they uh, had, you know, those clocks that they're precise to the point, you know, they click the same way. And then, you know, they, they took one out in, into yeah. space and it was just like slightly off. Like it was slightly off. Yeah. Of it. So we know that so, time is different on Earth compared to, you know, to yeah. space, even if it's just slightly. Well, you know, dude, that, it, yeah. That's crazy. It's crazy, right? Well, yeah. So that does mean time is relative. You know, like what Einstein's theory say. And what you were saying earlier, like about that, um, but even time on another planet is different. Like on, I don't know which planet. I'm just throwing stuff out here, but I know on like some planets, a year is is a different length. A day can be three days on another planet. So our entire basis of time is is based on what the sun, but then on a different planet, it's different. Yeah, it's relative to to our current situation. The present has to be between the past and the future. I read this somewhere. I, I, want, I want to say it was Aristotle, but I can't honestly remember. But it was something like the past is just made of our memories, which technically memories, you know, they no longer exist because they happened in the past. And also the future, which doesn't exist yet. It's just our imagination of what we think will happen. So where is the present? Like when you cut a line in half and then you keep cutting it infinitely, 
it's like that's the present like where is the present the past is here the future where is the present it's like it's everywhere what what does that even mean and i always revert back to the idea of you can only measure the electrons at a specific space and time you know and so i think it's you know really interesting that that you say that that there is no present moment right because we're always constantly moving through time whether that be you know uh, probably our consciousness is constantly in motion when you just like zone out completely and you know time you know just feels like you know it's not it, it time just feels like it slows down or something i don't know yeah, yeah. right in, in those moments you know your consciousness i guess is perceiving time in a different way well, dude, even like substances can alter the way we perceive time. Like alcohol, people get blackouts when they drink too much alcohol. So yeah. they miss, there's periods of time that literally go missing in their perception. Like you're saying, their conscious perception of time. Or if someone smokes marijuana, for example, like marijuana affects time. It can slow down time. So like the way our brain physically perceives reality through our five senses, anything that alters our brain can alter the way we perceive time is going fast or slow how how does time fly like why is it flying so fast and is it is it because we're just over over putting like information like overdriving our our brains with things Mm. that you know just time flies or or that we're overdriving our our brain to the point where we need more times to to zone out and so those moments yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. what was it